Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. But are you? So y'all need to check this out, man. Really. Really. <laughs> Bam. Right? If I got it on, it's on. And y'all know it's on. Let's talk middleweights, right? We talk middleweights. You know that's the, my worst division. Can't stand that division, right? The reason of are pretty much Gennady Golovkin and Canelo. So they'll be in this video, right? First of all, Demetrius Andrade is about to have a fight against Luke Killer. He's been reduced to fighting Luke Killers. Luke Killers is, is third in the WBO, so he's supposed to fight, you know, the guy. But Luke Killer is uh, a 70 to 1 underdog. Now, I haven't seen that. I've seen the article saying he was a 71 underdog for a while. I've seen him at 10 to 1. But he's a massive underdog, and that must mean somebody thinks the Luke Killer is nothing, or Andre is all of that. Now, now we know that Andre and Charlo are very dangerous, right? We know that. We know that. that they're, they're, they're very dangerous in the middleweight division. They just won't be fought. But, you know, when you say it, right, you know, I'm a brother. You know, those happen to be brothers, right? So people, right, that's why it's very important to have, you know, other people saying it, like Mexicans saying it themselves. And, you know, legends. So I'm surprised that Mexicans are going against their legends. But maybe you want to go with the one that's out there right now, right? And Canelo is, is a good fighter. Matter of fact, a great fighter. Just the face of boxing and number one pound pound. We can't have that with people that are doing extra and just won't fight champions. But anyway, Canelo is at the zone, right? So is Gennady Golovkin. So let me tell you what a the zone analyst said. A the zone analyst said Demetrius Andre is not getting no fight from Canelo or Gennady Golovkin because he's just too damn good. He didn't have the damn. He's just damn too, too too good. Right? That's what's going on. That's pretty much all I got to say. He's, well, Demetri Andre is about to fight Luke Killer in a fight that he has nothing to win in. Right? Because he's supposed to beat Luke Killer. I hear people in the article that I might put in the description box, hey, he has to look good and, and look good and win and maybe win by knockout. Right? Because, see, he won every round against Boris Selecki. He knocked Selecki down. Beat Selecki way better than, uh, than Danny Jacobs did. And they had the nerve to call that lackluster. They followed that up with uh, Jamal Charles. Uh, not the last fight, the one before. Called it lackluster. He won every round. So, and then if you want knockouts, Deontay Wilder knocks everybody out. And all we have to say is Deontay Wilder's not skilled. So it doesn't matter what he does. And now he has to look so good against this guy. <laughs> right? It doesn't matter. You're not getting a Canelo fight anyway. You're too good. You've been doing it for the longest. Now, how is it we got an American English-speaking dude, right? And English-speaking is what makes people not get these fights because they don't want it to lead up. The lead up means a dude like Demetri Andre will be running around telling y'all how long he's been trying to fight Canelo. They don't want that. They want somebody who doesn't speak English. Kovalev, you know, you love Canelo, which is not a bad fight. Love is not a bad fight. But anything. Have you noticed? America likes all these people that ain't speaking no English. Now, Canelo about to fight uh, Royata Morata. Now, he went from Morata, first went to Billy Joe Saunders, to Morata, to back to Billy Joe Saunders. Now, I'm hearing reports that he's uh, Morata, but I haven't read my boxing news yet. Just got in. Had to do this one. Wanted to do this one yesterday about Demetrius Andre. Basically, I'm getting back to the point. The zone analyst says he's just too good. Canelo or Gennady Golovkin will not fight him. That means everybody knows that. All three of these fighters are at the zone, and the zone won't do anything about it. Now, I think people with money and and, and some, you know, what people know that they the boss, right? Some of these people in the higher ups need to start taking belts from people who won't fight other people. That's all it is. You know, you can let the people argue and whatever. If you we know that you won't fight for somebody, take the belts from them and definitely don't put him higher on pound for pound list than the people that they won't fight. This is where the problem is. This is where this corrupt. And that's where it basically is the BTBG thing going on. So I thought that was very interesting. Let's see if Canelo fights Murata. Because really, you're going to go to Japan and fight Murata. You know, because people, whether you see him, you fight another regular champion, you just fought Fielding. That's a regular champion. That means they're not champions. Those are the ones you want. And the people will say, hey, better Murata than a champion in Andrade or a champion in Charlo. Yeah.
pathetic again. So let the thumbs downs begin. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm out of here, y'all.